Best one today. I had to feel good. All right, right here, you've got it lined up back there, right? Looking good. Then you start to come down, but you start to pull. But when you pull, you pull kind of vertically down. And what you want to do is feel like, like almost like the, well, not almost like, but the right elbow needs to, to go out this way. And then the left wrist needs to go this way. So they're both unhinging here. Yeah, you're there, right? Okay, now, just uh, straighten the uh, right elbow towards the stick out in front of you. Okay, first lean back here and look back here for your club. Get your head behind the shaft, you know, like I was doing. And now you can really see where this is, right? When we're bent over and we're oriented this way, it's hard to kind of tell. But you're just doing a visual uh, check on what, that's, what that looks like to you. You follow me there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whether it's driver, wedge, whatever. I mean, I'm a little further with driver. Okay, obviously, and I can get a little taller, which is good. And then I go back, and when I, I go back, I still want to point this on the, on the plane line, right? And I don't want to pull down that way. But if I'm, if I'm over like this, there's a chance that I might come down that way. The more I'm back here, I can definitely slot it from the inside easier, right? Knee flex and kind of a more upright posture has the shoulders back a little bit. And then I can kind of whip it back from in there. And then with this thing, it's kind of the very similar idea. This is we're on a little more upright plane, but we definitely don't want to pull down that way. We still want to feel the same deal. And the deal is like trying to get the feeling that this club's dropping this way, falling in front of me with the, with the left wrist doing this kind of work, and the right wrist, or excuse me, right elbow straightening. That's it, Dean. That's it. Then you're going to let it go. You're not going to keep holding it. You're going to come down this way, and then you're going to let the club go. Yeah, exactly. Do not hold it. Great job. If you're off balance and kind of uh, falling a little bit, you're locking up some joints too tight. You know, so it's like you gotta you gotta allow these levers to kind of come out and go through with it. A little more knee flex there. You feel like your hips are a little bit more levelish, and you're just setting down that way. That gets the shoulders back a little. Good. There we go. There we go. You recognize that tilted over shoulders are going to lock you up this way. I, I, there's no way that I can turn as easy as if I'm like this. But right now, you you know you're. You're out of this look and a little bit more like trying to flex the knees, sit your ass down, get the shoulders back a little bit so you feel taller. Shoulders a little higher than here, less over the toes, a little more back. Once you're there, we did this thing where you, you felt like just standing up and watching the slot of the club come down the slope, right? And then when you got in here, you just tried to recapture the flex and the height of your shoulders Understanding that the three package combo is going to be shoulders need to stay up. They need to stay high so that you have room to let the arms fall in front and do the work of the right arm straightening and the left going there. Two thirds of your body past that stick on this one. Very nice there. Okay. You got under it because we went like this. So you started here like this and you hit one and it was cool. It's like your shoulder was over this way as the ball was gone. That last one, it was like this. Just let the bigger pieces of you kind of work with the club. Right, so if I need to go a little harder, I would just turn up the volume a little bit on the, on the speed maybe. But definitely I'm not hanging back. How's that one? Beautiful, huh? <laughs> hey everybody, what's happening? It's Gormanator here. I just want to let you know that I'm doing live Zoom lessons. 
next best thing to an in-person lesson, a live Zoom. So you want to kick that slice to the curb, hop in, and let's get going. I've got my launch monitor and the tools I need. If you're at the office, work, wherever, we can get it done. Click the link down below, hit the page. It'll tell you all about the lesson and how it works. You'll be excited to get it done because I'll take care of you. See you guys on the next video.